Hello YouTube, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Logstash server on CentOS 7 virtual machine. So basically, Logstash is a um, open source software which you can use for centralized logging and um, you can use Logstash server for collecting and parsing logs and you can visualize the logs in a graphical format. So Logstash is also called the um, ELK stack. ELK stands for Elasticsearch, Logstash, Kibana. So these three components um, together make up the Logstash server. So I've got a couple of uh, virtual CentOS 7 virtual machines. So I'm going to be using um, SendVMO1 as my Logstash server and send VMO2 as the client um, which sends logs to the um, Logstash server. So um, to set up Logstash server you need few um, RPMs, you need few files uh, which you can download from the Elasticsearch website. So I'm going to bring up my browser here. Okay, so if you do a Google search um, for download Elasticsearch And in the Elasticsearch website, um, download the Elasticsearch RPM file here and go to products, logstash, download, and download logstash 1.5.2, the RPM file. In the same page, scroll down further down and also download the logstash forwarder RPM. And finally, go to products. Kibana, download and download the 64-bit tarball. So Kibana comes as a tarball and the other packages comes as RPM files. I've already downloaded all these on my host machine. In ELK directory. So I have the Elasticsearch RPM, Kibana, tarball, Logstash RPM and Logstash Forwarder RPM. So in the Logstash server, you need the first three files, and in the Logstash client, you need the Logstash Forwarder. So Logstash Forwarder forwards uh, the once configured, it forwards the logs to the um, Logstash server. So what I'm going to do now is copy the first three files to the um, Logstash server and copy the um, logstash forwarder to the um, um, logstash clients. So send me mo2 is my client, so I'm copying the logstash forwarder rpm to send me mo2. Okay, I'm going to log into send me mo1. The first thing you need to do is install Java. I've already installed it so the next thing is so I've got to install these three components Elasticsearch, Kibana and Logstash. Elasticsearch is the um, storage engine where you store the um, logs and Kibana is the uh, front end the web interface um, you can use Kibana you can log into Kibana and you can visualize the logs you can search for log entries um, everything will be in a graphical format and the logstash rpm this package is the actual um, the server component so let's install elasticsearch first okay so it says uh, i need to reload the system cpo 
daemon configuration so let's do that I'm going to enable the Elasticsearch service and let me start it So Elasticsearch is running now. If you want to take a look at the um, configuration files for this package, do rpm minus qc Elasticsearch. So you've got these configuration files. You've got a couple of uh, YAML files. Uh, you have the Etsy init the Elasticsearch the init script for pre CentOS 7 operating system, and you have the uh, um, systemd service for Elasticsearch. Okay, so the Elasticsearch service is running, and if you do netstat minus NLTP, so you can see these two Java processes running on ports 9200, 9300. So we need to open these ports in the firewall. Don't forget the permanent option. And let's reload the firewall configuration. Okay, we've opened these two ports in the firewall. That is good. Okay, so one component down, we've got two more to install. So let's go with the Kibana, the web interface. Okay, so I'm going to extract Kibana to uh, the user local directory. CD to that directory. And we've got Kibana. To make our life a little easier, I'm going to rename Kibana uh, directory to Kibana. So if you go into Kibana and to the bin directory, we have this Kibana executable here. So to start the Kibana um, service, you would type Kibana. But I'm not going to do this. Um, this is not the best way to do. Uh, if you if you were to do this this way, then every time you boot the server, you need to um, start it. So instead of that, I'm going to create a service configuration for Kibana and I'm going to enable that service. So by doing that, you don't have to worry about starting Kibana manually each time you reboot the server. So all the systemd service configurations reside under Etsy, systemd, system. So in here, I'm going to create a file named kibana.service and I'm going to have a couple of um, sections here one is um, service and I'm going to have an install section so on the service section I'm going to tell um, where the executable is so I'm going to use the directive xx start and the path to the Kibana executable, which is user local Kibana bin Kibana. And I'm going to tell uh, systemd to start this service whenever I am in multi user mode. So wanted by equals multi user dot target. That's it save and quit this file and enable the service Kibana service is enabled now and let's start the service start it 
Okay, Kibana service is running, and if you take a look at the netstat output, you will see the port 5601 open now. Um, so we need to open this port in firewall. Okay, so firewall cmd minus minus permanent add port equals 5601 slash tcp. Reload. So, okay, these two uh, ports uh, are related to the Elasticsearch, and this one here is the Kibana service. So, Kibana is running now. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can install HTTPD and um, make it a proxy server so you don't have to um, type the URL followed by the port number. You can just type the URL and the HTTPD service will do the um, proxy thing. Okay, so from my browser, I'm going to send me a moment my logstash server port 5601 so there you go so you have the kibana okay you've opened this web page for the very first time it says you don't have any index pattern we need to create an index pattern here but uh, we're not yet done we need to set up the client and then come back here uh, later and then uh, create a config create an index pattern so it's all working now uh, you go to send me ml1 colon 5601 so instead of doing that what I'm going to do is instead of installing HTTPD and uh, configure it as a proxy server I'm just going to uh, add a simple forward port in the firewall like this firewall cmd permanent add forward port equals Port equals 80, protocol equals TCP, two port equals 5601. So what I'm telling here is uh, I'm telling the um, firewall to route all the traffic that comes to port 80 to 5601. Let's check. So you have this forward port um, configured here. So now if I go to HTTP send me ML1, it will take me to the Kibana dashboard, Kibana web interface. So I don't have to type the um, 5601 port, just a simple port forwarding. Okay, so that's done. We've installed the Elasticsearch Kibana, so now we need to install the main Logstash server component. So after installing Logstash server, we need to create the um, SSL certificates um, because we need to secure the um, uh, traffic between the Logstash clients on the um, Logstash server. So after this, we will be creating um, SSL certificates. Okay, so I'm going to use the OpenSSL um, tool to create the SSL certificate. Open SSL, this is a pretty um, long command. Open SSL request subject cn canonical name equals. So I'm going to run open SSL in the uh, batch mode so it won't ask me for anything so I'm just giving the um, 
the only thing that's required here is uh, the canonical name cm so i'm going to pass that as an option and then uh, tell OpenSSL to run in batch mode and create the um, um, certificate and key files. Um, before that, let me cd to etsy pki tls directory. So in here, uh, your certificates will go into the um, search directory and your private key will go into the um, private directory. OpenSSL request subject equals so my uh, fully qualified domain name of sendvm01 is sendvm01.jungle.kvm minus x509 minus days so how long this certificate is valid for so i'm going to um, generate a certificate with a validity of um, 10 years batch mode so don't ask me for anything notes new key and the algorithm i'm going to use is rsa with 2048 bit key out so generate the uh, private key in etsy pki tls private log stash forwarder dot key and create the certificate file in the search directory Okay, I might have made a mistake here. Out. Okay. Key out RSA. New key notes. Batch days. Open as a cell request. Unknown option minus subject. Is it minus minus? unknown option minus minus I know what it is there should be a space instead of equal to okay so we've created the um, certificates so now we need to configure the uh, log stash so if we go into Etsy log stash conf .d, so in here I'm going to create a file um, and name it as logstash initial.conf okay so in here you basically need to configure three sections input filter and output so input section tells you what to listen for um, what type of logs and which port you are listening and the filter section um, does some filtering to the logs incoming logs and the output section tells you where to store the log so I've got a, um, I've got the text copied here so I'm going to just copy this text into this file so basically I've got the input section it uses the um, lumberjack protocol uh, that's the protocol used between the logstash client and the server and I'm telling uh, the um, logstash to listen on port 5000 and uh, the SSL certificate and SSL key the ones we have generated in the previous step Etsy PKI TLS private so this is where your private key is and this is your certificate and under the filter section you create a filter for syslog and uh, do some regular expression and in the output you're saying um, store all the logs in Elasticsearch and the Elasticsearch is running in the local host you don't have to run all these components in the same server you can run it in a different server so as I'm running in the same server um, I'm going to leave this as local host so you just need these three configurations input filter and output configuration 
and I'm gonna save and quit out of this file okay we got logs dash configured but we need to enable it and start the service systemctl enable logs dash it's not a native service logs dash is still the init the is still in the init d format okay let's do check config okay that's already done if you look here executing uh, sorry it doesn't have the um, um, system d in its script it still has the init uh, sysv in its script okay let's start the log stash service So Logstash is running now. Let's take a look at the next stat output and see which ports it's running on. We have to wait for a while because um, it might take a little while to start all the um, Java processes. Um, all the Logstash logs are stored under var log log stash so you have the log stash dot error file log file std out let's take a look at what's in the uh, log stash dot log so nothing in there okay so i don't see any error here it says it's started there you go so you've got the um, java process running um, on port 5000. So let's open that port in the firewall because this is the port that the client uh, will use to send the logs to so we need to open that port. Okay, I think um, we've got everything we need. So 9200, 9300, these two ports are for Elasticsearch. 5601 is the one for Kibana, 5000 is the one for Logstash. And we've got the port forwarding set up to uh, redirect all requests, uh, all traffic on port 80 to 5601. So that's all you need to do from the um, Logstash logstash server side and now let's go to sendvm02 and install logstash forwarder okay so i've already copied the logstash forwarder rpm uh, we need to install that and before that, we also need to copy the um, certificate that we generated on the Logstash server to SendVM02. I'm going to go back to SendVM01 and copy Etsy PKI TLS certs Logstash forwarder. Okay, copied. So I've got the file here, and I'm going to copy this file to Etsy PKI TLS search directory. Okay, so let's install the forwarder package. So it says um, the logs for the logstash forwarder service will be var log logstash forwarder. Let's enable the service. Uh, 
Okay, again, this doesn't have the um, uh, system D in its script. It's still using the init.d in its script. Executing, so anyway, it's running. Um, sorry, it's enabled. So we need to start the service. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up another tab and log in to SendVML2. And uh, I'm going to look the files that it, uh, the log file that it generates. So cd to war log log stash forwarder. Nothing here. So let's start the service. Okay. If you take a look at log stash forwarder dot log nothing okay okay so the error says we don't have any log stash uh, forwarder configuration we started the log stash forwarder so um okay i'm going to um configure the log stash forwarder the log stash configuration file will be in the etc log stash forwarder.conf. Okay, let's open that file. So I've got um, lots of uh, comments here. I'm going to clear most of them and just have what we exactly need. Okay, so let's delete. No. Okay. I don't need these. I don't need these lines. Okay, I think uh, we only need these configurations here. So which server we are going to send the logs to and on which port? The port is 5000. And the server is sendvm01.jungle.kvm. I don't need this as well. I just need the certificates and the timeout. So SSL certificate, I've copied that to Etsy PKI. I'm going to enter the full path here. Etsy PKI TLS search log stash forwarder dot cert. That's there. And I'm going to monitor war log messages and war log secure uh, the authentication log and the messages log okay um this is how the uh, log stash forwarder configuration should look and let's restart the um, log stash forwarder service Okay, that is running and if you look at the log file for log log stash forwarder dot year so it says it's connected to um, 
192.168.122.101 which is SendVM01 which is my um, Logstash server so it's running fine so we have configured the Logstash server and the three separate components Elasticsearch, Kibana and Logstash and in this client we have configured the Logstash forwarder and pointed it to the Logstash server on port 5000 and we've also configured to send war log messages and war log secure from this server to the Logstash server. So now if I go to Kibana we need to create the index pattern. Okay, now you can create the index pattern, but it will tell you, you need to select uh, the fields. So select at timestamp and then click create. Okay, that's done. So if you go to discover, and I'm going to search the um, SendVMO2 logs. So here you see, you can see all the logs from SendVM02. Um, so the search criteria is star, that's why it's showing you all the logs. Um, say if you've got uh, multiple servers configured as Logstash clients, you can search um, by the host name. So SendVM02. So I'm searching for all the logs from SendVM02. So the host field, host equals sendvmo2, it will list all the logs from um, here. So basically we have got the um, centralized uh, um, log management setup with Logstash server and Logstash forwarder from all the clients. And from here you can do any query uh, to find out uh, the entries from the logs. You can find the host, you can find, uh, you can sort based on the syslog facility, uh, based on the syslog PID program. Say if we want to um, search for Logstash forwarder. So it will list you all Logstash forwarder messages. Okay, cool. I think uh, that is it. So you can add multiple um, forwarders and you can um, uh, have a look from the um, Logstash Kibana web interface. There are lots of plugins for the um, Logstash. Um, this is, this. I, I just want to keep this tutorial uh, short, uh, but it's already exceeded my um, expected duration, so I'm not going to um, show you anything else. So this is just to get started with Logstash centralized management. So from here you can um, configure, uh, you can play with the input, you can play with filters, you can play with outputs and you can play with uh, different plugins that's available for Logstash. So I hope you found this uh, video useful and um, thanks for watching. Uh, please send me your feedback and if you want any other videos just leave a comment and I'll have a think about it. And thanks for watching. Bye.